350 Lagosians are the latest beneficiaries of the fifth edition of the Lagos State Community Sensitization and Empowerment Program. Now, the wife of the Lagos State Governor, Dr. Abidjo Kesonwulu, who is in charge of the initiative, says the people living with disability, widows, the youth and other residents were carefully selected across the state to benefit from the 2024 empowerment exercise to help them become independent and also feed their family. She urged them to empower others and reduce the poverty level in Lagos State. Grinding machine, popcorn equipment, sewing machine, catering essentials, soap making tools, among other equipment are all displayed at the Lagos House, Ikeja to be distributed to beneficiaries of the fifth edition of the Lagos State Community Sensitization and Empowerment Program. The wife of the governor of Lagos State. The initiative organized by the office of the First Lady, Dr. Ibijoke Sonwulu, is to support 350 Lagosians trained in different skills and also help them make a living on their own. As you can see, there are a lot of things here. All of you are going home with the items you are seated behind. Nobody is taking a dime from you, but see this as an opportunity to empower yourself. Because if you collect this today and you use it wisely, you'll be able to empower another person. But if you see it as something you want to sell, you will sell it, you will finish spending the money immediately, and you will go back to begging. And that's what she is trying to guide against. We are coming to your houses. If you notice, we have co we've collected your addresses. So if we know you are using it well, we will empower you more. But if we can't find what we've given you and you've sold it, no way. We will even fight you. Consider this grand opportunity in becoming one of the contributors towards economic growth, even as you transform to being financially independent. At this junction, I also want to emphasize the importance of unity and collaboration within communities. By working together, supporting one another, we can achieve greater things and encounter minimal challenges in developmental advancement. Once again, I want to thank the delectable and supportive First Lady of Lagos State, Dr. Claudiana Ibijoke Sawolu the grand organizer of this laudable program, the sponsors, as well as the volunteers who have made this event possible. Your dedication and commitment to improving the lives of women is highly valued and such gestures do not go unnoticed. To all participants in attendance, I urge you to be proactive in your pursuit for employment and lift each other up along the way. In addition, the Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation. We have about 19 skill acquisition centers across the state. If you need to know more about what you are doing, please avail yourself with the opportunity. You can walk into any of our skill acquisition centers and tuition. They are all tuition free. The State Commissioner for Wealth Creation and his counterpart in charge of the Ministry of Commerce, Cooperatives, Trade and Investment encourage beneficiaries to utilize their equipment judiciously and not sell it off. The purpose of this program is to provide you beneficiaries with knowledge, skills and equipment necessary to empower yourselves and be useful to your respective communities. I therefore encourage you to fully engage in the activities that will make each and every one of you to be independent. Take advantage of the resources and opportunities that will be presented to you today. Remember, the power to create wealth and positive change lies within each and every one of us. See this as an opportunity to grow. Don't see it as an opportunity to make what you want to make now. Look into the future. It's not bad now. A journey of a thousand miles starts with a step. See, so many people are out there that don't, they don't have this opportunity, to ha opportunity you have. Take advantage of it. And look, I'll tell you one thing. To make it in life, it's not easy. For you having this opportunity, hold it firmly. And see that, yeah, the future is bright. Challenges will come. But be strong-minded and be positive that I'm going somewhere. With this little war you're starting with, if you use it well, our excellency will surely 
call you again and see how well you've used it. I would like to believe that the community sensitization and mega empowerment program that we are gathered here today at the behest of our esteemed First Lady, it is not just a one-time event, it is a catalyst for change, a beacon for hope, for all those striving to break the chains of poverty and inequality. I urge all beneficiaries here today to seize this opportunity as esteemed on you by Her Excellency the First Lady, to utilize the empowerment materials provided and to strive for the intended benefits with determination and resilience. Mrs. Sonwolu promised to continue to empower the people of Lagos State through collaborations with ministries to ensure no one is left out. A lot of people write letters to our office requesting for one help or the other. It could be financial, it could be equipment-wise. So this is how this idea came out and we decided let's do it properly. If we're going to help, we'll do it properly. And then we also took advice from Ministry of Women Affairs and Poverty Alleviation. We also um, learned things from the um, LSETF and then the Ministry of Wealth Creation. We were able to take the people that are seated here today by using a structure Looking at, from the letters that have been written to us, people with disability, the widows that approached us, some youths that also approached us, some um, people in the community that also approach us. So we used those structures to be able to pick the people that we needed to come here today. The Office of the First Lady, apart from this intervention on empowerment, which I said is a collab, also has some other strategic areas of support and intervention. And one of them, which we are very strong on, is sexual and gender-based violence, war against drug abuse, making the boy child responsible and relevant at a very tender age. Also, you know that I'm a senior girl child, so I am also an advocate for the girl child, encouraging them, ensuring that they can be what they want to be and be the best at any time. And as my position as First Lady, to act as a role model to so many girls out there. So, boost their confidence that you can be whatever you want to be in life. We also have programs on the senior citizens in which we go to visit the senior citizens in the community. We cannot forget our elders because they have served our nation. And so when they retire back, apart from just calling them into a town hall, we have decided in the office of the First Lady to actually go and visit them in their habitats. It has taken us a long time to be able to put this together. We did our training way back in November or so, and we're just doing the handing over to you in March. It shows you that a lot has gone on. And you are also aware that these things, the prices are going up every day. So it will be very, very unfair, you know, for you to get this thing and then just sell it off. Please use it and also use it to teach somebody else. Some of them commend government for the support. The Lagos State Government has empowered us in different ways. Like for instance, some people, um, they empower them with a the, uh, grinding machine, some work for organizers. And me particularly, I was empowered in the bathing section. I was given clippers and a generating set for me to start my business. So I think this is a very good initiative by the um, Office of the First Lady of the Labour State and I pray that God continually blesses her. It's actually an opportunity for me. I'm a, I'm a chef in Yoruba, or local. I don't know what you call it in English. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm with this now, it's like, I was not expecting something like this. I was not expecting something like, but when I came out, like, oh, wow, this is uh, like, like a winning team for me. I just want to say thank you and God bless her so much. 
We say God bless her and give her more blessing in Jesus' name. We are very grateful. This also is going to be helpful in school because as a young boy and as a husband, this will help me in some ways, like buying my hand out and other stuff to stop me from calling and other stuff. Since 2019, thousands of people have been supported through the Community Sensitization and Empowerment Program and the latest 350 beneficiaries have been asked to become employers of labor and also grow the economy.